But yeah, small world, no? Yeah, definitely email me, send me some stuff. Yeah, and if it's a showcase, it just depends on what you want to do. Hercules with the gold of peace, no gold of teeth, but you know I'm G. Show to y'all on her knees and me. Fell in love so easily. Made me feel like the dots getting drake. Cause them BBW can get that snake. Pacey says so she likes to bake. So I'm in that cake just to get that cake. Y'all want no problems, mate. Don't you know that I can take it, babe? All of my relationships, bro, are long lasting. Five to ten years. Well, if you're not here anymore, there's a reason why, man. Personal responsibility and accountability is everything. One of the biggest things that I screwed up on is trying to take care of too many people and too many things at once. When I should have went solo after 5 a.m. records defuncted, after Dior Sentai stopped going nowhere. Long before a lot of the core members quit, man. And I still stay, bro. I was in Sentai until 2018. I was out of jail, not, not physically, Doing music at that time, really trying to figure things out. You know what I'm saying? I was on the on the verge of having my first child. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all that other kind of stuff. And bro, like I was still in Sentai. I was still in Sentai. I left Sentai probably at the end of 2018, before I, I moved around Tampa. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, man, some of y'all really got to answer for a lot of y'all stuff, man. And I promise the moment you do it will set you free, bro. It'll set you free. It's gonna feel like you're not in the bottom of an ocean anymore with anchors on you. And you're gonna be like, damn, I screwed up myself. It's okay, man. It's okay to be like, yo, I'm not perfect. It's okay to not be prideful. I was probably the biggest idiot out of everybody in my section because everything that I've been doing now, I could have been doing about six, seven, eight years ago. And if I was in that position, I would have been able to bring those same people up like that. So everybody got to learn, man. You know what I'm saying? But anybody that I've disrespected or it may have gotten beefy, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no one got, ain't no one had that type of conversation that, it ain't, that they didn't have coming to them, man. And that's, that's it. Like, I'll put that on everything, man. Take accountability and stand on your own ten and hold your nuts like a man. And if you, you know what I'm saying, there are certain women, you know what I'm saying, who I've also, I've had situations with. And no, this ain't got nothing to do with anything sexual or anything relationship-wise. When it comes to music, I don't shit where I eat. You talk to anybody that's still in my section, that's still in my camp, they will tell you that. I don't even flirt when I'm on shows, and I don't even drink half the time when I have a set. Me even drinking a beer, it's something that I've been doing in the last two years because it's like, yo, I've been doing this for so long. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't need to be so rigid. There's certain people, oh, yo, he's not approachable. So if I'm in the corner right there, you know what I'm saying, going over my set and I'm not talking to y'all, but I got booked tonight, you think I'm going to get booked again if I give y'all something whack? How does that mean I'm not approachable? Did I mean mug you? Then when, I, when you pass me, I'll be like, fuck you looking at? Nah, man. You know what I'm saying? Stop being so damn sensitive, man. It's all yeah, no feelings, baby. Straight like that, man. Yeah, glad you could get some of that off your chest. You of course, know what I mean? of course. I'm very passionate too, man. It's not, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, like I said, it's 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 I'm passionate, man. You know what I'm saying? This this shit obviously means the world, the universe to me, man. I'm I'm a product of the universe. I'm a product of my environment. You know what I'm saying? I love this shit with everything in me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Not as much as my daughter's baby, but basically about almost the same. And if you really, really do this, you're going to understand. Like, if you really a musician, really a musician, really an artist, like, your, it feels like your entire essence was created to create, you'll understand. And I'm not talking about IG taglines like, I create. I'm talking about, like, you are doing this type of stuff every day, whether someone knows it or not. Because this is something that you've been doing forever and a day ago. And now this is something that you're doing as far as your livelihood. Period. Good show, man. Good show. Uh, we'll go ahead and wrap it up, man. I think that was a really good interview. Uh, go ahead Appreciate and tell the people where they can find you at. I my IG is Seuss the Alpha M C S E U S S T H A A L 
P H A, and then the letter M, and then the letter C. Yeah, you know I mean, my Twitter is Michael Seuss, M I C H A E L S E U S S. My YouTube, Michael Seuss. You just you just search that, M I C H A E L S E U S S. And also Google me, man. You gonna see all the blog posts, all that stuff. I get blogged monthly, man. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, just Google me. You know what I'm saying? My website, michaelsuits.com, that has all my information, you know what I'm saying? And just, you know what I'm saying? saying stay, stay up with me. Also, Spotify, uh, Apple Music, I feel like those are the best places to stream me as, as, as well as YouTube. And again, Michael Seuss, M-I-C-H-A-E-L-S-E-U-S-S, and you will know exactly, you know what I'm saying, who I am, because my picture you know what I'm saying? It's literally like this standing up. I forgot. I'm going to get cut off, but it's literally like this, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know all that artist stuff. So you can't miss it. I'm basically wearing pretty much the exact same fit. So yeah, you know what I mean? Definitely go check me out. of Uncle Lou's Entertainment Hall, located at 1016 North Mills Avenue in Orlando. And um, I'm here hanging out with my boy, one of, the, um, one of the original rappers who came here and started doing shows. You know, I'm Uncle Lou, I'm here, I provide a place of young people in Orlando who want to start it. There's a lot of places who, when you start, just starting out, they do not accept you, but I'm here, I'm the place that most you can come and say, Uncle Lou, I want to do my show. And it doesn't matter how old you are, what, what you got, how good you are, I'm going to give them the opportunity to do their show. You know, and uh, Michael was one of the persons who came here. He did a lot, of sh a lot of shows here in his youth when he just started out. And uh, a person who I really respect and will always remember. You know, Uncle Lou is located, like I say, over here at Mills Avenue, man. And I'm here to provide a place for young people. So if you is a young youth and you're looking for a place to play, you always can hit up Uncle Lou because he's always here for you. I can definitely coast on that, too. Um, when I had first started coming here, I was doing a lot of stuff in downtown Orlando for about my first, I would say, year and a half of, of really kind of rapping. And then the stuff that I was kind of talking about, um, when you kind of starting to rise too fast, there's a lot of people who haven't really gotten where they want to get to, and they kind of like cut it all off, and I kind of got blackballed within um, Orlando and, and shit like that in certain parts of Florida, and Lou was definitely a person that helped me get steam again and shit like that, and he was him and a lot of people that were booking shows who were the only people uh, who actually gave me that sort of shot when it was like I kind of woke up one day and it's like everybody had a problem with me. You know what I'm saying? I, when I was doing it, he said original rappers, bro. A lot of, There wasn't really rap here at first. So it was really just members of Sentai. And then a lot of the bands that I had mentioned as far as like, let's say, Gutless, Jillian Carter, Flashlights, um, and a lot of other people who were um, Gutless, like I said, they were in different bands and stuff like that, but um, those members. But this, this place, like when it... I would say what, like 2010, 2012, yeah. it was minimum that you'd have like 150 people here with no yeah. promo, yeah. no <laughs> promo. Yeah. Like I'm not even, I'm not even like capping and, and shit like that, bro. Yeah. From, from we did it, we did it. I uh, promise you. Yeah, we did it. So, fire department come here and shut me down before. You know that's a, that's the type of stuff we always go through. But, you know, it was all about helping, helping the youth and doing something with the youths, man. Because youth is important. When the youth is here doing something, that means they are not out there getting themselves in trouble. And that's the main important part of me. Okay, doing the rap, rap is a, a lot of people take rap as something as negative. But um, it's not just negative, you know, it's sometimes it's an expression of your mind, expression of what you're doing in life, or expression of how you want to live your life. And um, I'm really proud of all these kids, man. Kids who grew up here and, and still and still out there hustling. You know, I'm proud of them. And this is one of the guys I'm proud of. Uh, I see, I'm, he might not be around because he's doing his own thing, but still, uh, I always read about him and, and watch him on, online. So you check him out. Yo, Good guy. I, 
I don't know what happened out there between him and other people, but far, as far as I know, every time he play here, they have never been any, any first nor fight. He's a guy of peace and peace of love. That's all I know about him. See, I, yo, man, thank you so much, man. Shit, I'm tearing up, man. Good thank you. Love, yo. Same, bro. Love, man. And I know when a lot of people who I mention, man, we, we often talk about you, man. You know what I'm saying? Know, I know people talk. Yeah, and, and, it's, and it's important, too. It's important. I definitely, one of the reasons why I'm glad we're doing this here, man, is I also want to personally thank you, and I yeah. want to do it on camera. Like I said, it's not clout, you know what I mean? Like, you you know I started, I basically, like, my, my real, real career, it started here, man. And I know there's a lot of people that are eating off the of music right now that have you to thank for that. And, they and... Do. They always do. Uh, that's one thing I can say about the music scene. They always be grateful. They come back and, and show me love. They, they always do. And as you mentioned, one of the guys, Julian Carter Band, man, uh, that's one of the main band who play here. I love those guys. You know, a lot of respect to Julian Carter. Yeah, man. Julian will do a show here for free still. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not about money. For all the youths, and most of the youths, and we play around here, man. It's, uh, it's a love. They, they love the community, so they provide, they provide a music, uh, music for the community. And I do the same thing. It's not about money. It's about providing a place so that the youth can spread the words and, you know, love. Uncle Lou is all about love. This place brings a lot of love. A lot of places people go and they play and they just play and just play. But when they come to Uncle Lou, Uncle Lou, they feel the love inside here because there's a lot of love inside here. This is the most loving um, play venue you can find anywhere around. Ask any artist, I'll put that up. Yes, absolutely, bro. Like, if you, if you think I, I'd come all the way out here, you know what I'm saying? If that wasn't, that wasn't the case, like, as far as young artists and, and a lot of like veterans now, uh, DIY scene or now that's really gracing into the music industry that have who to thank and have this venue to thank and have um, and have just mills to thank as well. Like a lot of people will look at somebody in a punk band or, or even a metal band. Like I've I've seen so many different types of shows here. People have done like comedy shows here, things of that nature, certain types of fests where they've had Lou's and a lot of other venues. Wills, man. Uh, shout out to Wills, though. Wills, uh, sure. you know, a big, big, big venue in Orlando who always support people also. Great guy to me. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So, uh, absolutely. If you've gotten your start here, too, I would definitely comment. I would I would let people know, man. Like this has been featured, like Luz, Uncle Luz, it's been yeah. featured in documentaries. Yeah, yeah. A lot of documentary, a lot of even in the New York Times, it's here. Visiting Orlando, you come check out Uncle Luz.